like a perfect night to dress up like hipsters and make fun of our exes. Uh -uh, uh -uh. It feels like a perfect night for breakfast at midnight to fall in love with strangers. Uh -uh. I'm Lindsay Rose and today is Thursday, December 16th. Now onto the pledge in a moment of silence and then the desk with Abby and Mina. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Hi, I'm Abby Leeds. And I'm Mina Toomey, and Abby's going to start us off this morning. Congratulations to the boys' varsity basketball team on a win over Inlet Grove Wednesday night. Leading the way, Keaton and Admar, 19 points, Spencer Road, 17 points, Christian Summers, 8 rebounds, Ethan Litton, 8 rebounds, Noam Erez, 5 assists. Next game, Friday night at Boca High. Congratulations to our DECA district competitors. Of the 362 testers, we had 254 qualifiers, 29 of which took first place. Please make sure you are following our DECA Google Classroom, J7KPBKJ, for district information about January 14th. Now to Mina. Attention all NHS members. Dues are now posted on school cash. You must pay dues to remain a good member in standing, as well as meeting requirements. Any issues or concerns, please email Angela.Danino at palmbeachschools.org and she can ad address those individually. For the first two weeks of February, SRHS is hosting 20 French high school students. These students need local families to host them for the two weeks they are here. This is an incredible opportunity, not only to get to know kids from France and make international connections, but also to earn tons of community service hours. Keep in mind this international exchange may give you the opportunity to stay with this person in France in the future. An international friend is a friend for life. Now back to Abby. Attention all students that completed ACE courses and exams last year. Today we will be distributing your official Cambridge certificates during lunch next door to room 1147. If your last name is J through Z, please make sure to come by during lunch to pick up your certificate. Bring your ID. You will need your certificate when you apply or attend college in order to receive the college credit awarded for your course. Spanish River Water Polo is gearing up for its next season. If you're interested in joining our team, please join our Google Classroom code, QEJTXDL. We practice at Boca High from 3.30 to 4.45. Get your athletic packet turned in to participate. Now to Ms. Castellano and then on to Mr. Solid. Good morning, Sharks. Ms. Castellano here coming to you. So if I don't see you uh, before your holiday break, uh, please make sure you have an amazing break and stay safe, be smart. 
um, as we head into exams. I know many of you haven't taken semester exams in a while. So please ensure that you're studying and preparing. And I know that your teachers put a lot of hard work this week um, into semester exam reviews where you got the ability to ask questions and get the help that you need. So please do the best that you possibly can because it's that semester average grade in your non-EOC courses that gets figured into your GPA. So it's really, really, really important for you to do the best you possibly can. And if you have an A-B split, go for the A. Don't just assume there's no way you can get it. Do your best, you never know, go into it with a great attitude. I'm also coming here today to ask for your help. Um, raise your hand if you've ever gone to the bathroom in a porta potty. Well, you almost had to yesterday because people are putting things down the toilet that don't belong down the toilet. The only thing that should be flushed down the toilet is toilet paper, not paper towels, not hair clips, not pens and pencils and other devices that you should not have at school. When you put those things down the toilet, the toilets get blocked. Talk to your brothers and sisters that were here during the great Spanish River sewage sludge spread maybe 2016, 2017, people walking down the 8,000 hallway in sewage. It was not a pretty sight. And we don't want to experience that again, especially with brand new restrooms, because we have to close those restrooms down and wait for plumbers to come out and get the hair clips and the other things, paper towels that you flush down the toilet. Even sanitary napkins go in the receptacle next to the toilet. That's why those bins are there. So please, this is your home away from home. Some of you spend just as much time here as you do at your house. Let's take care of it, because the last thing we want to see are porta potties in the courtyard. Thank you. Good morning, everybody, staff and, and students. Uh, let me go over a little bit about finals in the next few days. Um, hopefully everybody's studying and uh, do your best on your final exams. We haven't had them in a few years and they are very important. Uh, if you do get extra time, make sure you communicate with teachers. And if you're going to be missing any, make sure you communicate with teachers also uh, so you can make those up. Um, as far as exams, tomorrow is a regular school day until six period and then the six period exam is tomorrow and that will cover both sixth and seventh block so it's two hours each exam um, that starts tomorrow six period you can bring your backpack and just like a regular school day tomorrow on monday tuesday and wednesday regular start time and then we're out at about 11:50. so if you take the bus you can run down to the cafeteria if you want grab something to go uh, to eat to the buses uh, if you are not eating, you can leave, of course, after the last exam. The exams, um, no backpacks on those days, but you can. I know I've had a lot of questions. Uh, you have your Chromebooks and so forth. You may bring the drawstring small bags or a Publix bag, something like that, just not the big heavy backpacks, all right? So you may bring the uh, small drawstring ones, okay? But stay away, don't bring the big backpacks or we'll take them away for the day. Again, you shouldn't need much, maybe a Chromebook, a notebook, a couple you know, pens and pencils, and you're good. So don't bring too much. It's just the two finals. Again, one and two on Monday, three, four on Tuesday, and five, seven on Wednesday. So any questions, you can see me or any, anybody about the uh, schedule. Good luck. Hopefully everybody has a safe and a great holiday, and we'll see you after that, after the uh, new year. Study hard. Thank you. Have a great day. Reminder, if you have not already joined the Cambridge School Classroom, do so now. The code is HSGVU3U. Also, if you're planning to request access, arrangements, accommodations for the June 2020 exam series, be sure to submit your Google Forms no later than December 22, 2021. Information can be found on the Cambridge School Classroom. Contact Ms. Gorin with questions at mara.gorin at palmbeachschools.org. Ms. Fish is sponsoring a USA Biology Olympiad. It is an online test that you will take to demonstrate your expertise in all bio. The classroom code to join is NPFTBXX. When you join this classroom page, you will see a link to the website. 
but Ms. Fitch needs you to complete the Google form in order to register you by December 22nd. Please fill it out only if you are committed to taking this online test sometime in January. This is a very challenging test and there are levels, entry level, sem semifinals, and finals. The International USA Biology Olympiad Finals will be in Armenia this year. Thank you. Now back to Abby. This week will be your last week to check lost and found for any items you have lost. The last day to claim items will be Friday, December 17th. Everyone, today is a very special day in the English department. Both Ms. Hoffman and Mr. Delaney Mr. are Delaney. celebrating <laughs> birthdays. If you see them in the hallways, wish them a great day. For Mr. Delaney, wish him a win for his beloved Pittsburgh Penguins. WSRH reporter Alyssa Castellano with semester exam tips and then on to Coach Mack. Hi, I'm WSRH reporter Alyssa Castellano here to inform you about important tips when taking exams. My tip for freshmen is to get some good sleep. Mine is to just be relaxed and not overcomplicate things. I'm Morgan and my advice is to not procrastinate. You got this. Hi, I'm Allie and my advice for everybody taking exams is to not stress out, you got this, and make sure you guys are getting sleep. Sleep is super important in order to be successful. You got this. I'm Zoe. And I'm Lexi. And our tips for studying for midterms include finding a study buddy to study with. Like Lexi and I studied together for AP, AP geography. geography freshman year. And we learned that it's really important to study days or weeks in advance before the test comes and not just the night before because you really don't want to cram everything in. Right. And also, if like your teachers give you a study guide or notes, make sure, apart from the notes you already have, like replicating your notes really helps, like copying everything. Bye. Hi, I'm Dr. Vasa, the School Behavioral Health Professional. Hi, and I'm Natalie Havens, a ninth grade counselor here at Spanish River. We are here to give you some tips on taking tests, okay? So my first tip is... Oh, the first tip we're going to say is get a great night's sleep. Make sure, I know that's hard, but try your best to get a good night's sleep before the test. Eat a very healthy breakfast as much as you can. Have yourself a good, healthy breakfast. Um, and then while you're taking the test, I know it can be really stressful and maybe even I've heard students say their mind blanks out when they're super stressed or they're trying to remember certain things. Give yourself a quick moment even close your eyes for a quick minute if you can, take some deep breaths. When you're able to clear your mind, you'll see the information will come back to you more easily. Another thing is that if you are taking the test and you're stuck on a question, just move on. If you have the, uh, uh, if it's possible for you to move on, move on to a question that you can answer and then you come back to the question that you're stuck on. Don't just stay there because time is going, you need to move through the test quickly. And really importantly, believe in yourself. Study well, you've got this. We're wishing you luck, guys. All the best. This is WSRH reporter Alyssa Castellano signing off. Hey, good morning, Spanish River. I hope everybody had a good day yesterday. We had a great day yesterday. I want to reach out and say congratulations to Coach Jones and the boys basketball team. They went up to uh, Inlet Grove and played in a very different environment um, because they were playing the rec center, and they came away with a, a good two-point victory. So congratulations to Coach Jones and the boys. Like I've been saying all along, they're working really hard and getting their act together to go forward. So congratulations to them. Tonight, the girls' basketball team is heading over to Boca Raton High School. We wish them the best of luck. JV at 6.30, varsity at 7. Excuse me, JV at 6, varsity at 7.30. Last night, boys' soccer went up to Wellington. A hard fought, 1-1 tie, a game that was cut short because of weather. Tonight, the boys' soccer team goes to King's Academy, so we wish them the best of luck as well. So as we go forward, I remind you, first of all, we're getting close to the end of the second nine weeks. Make sure between today and tomorrow you get all those grades turned in and get all that makeup work done. And more importantly, next week during exam week, we will not be allowed to have backpacks on campus. So make sure you plan accordingly. And also we'll have pizza lunches between the first and second exam, $5 for two slices of pizza and a water, bring cash. So as always, you guys have a great day. I wish you the best of everything. Be a great shock with your badge and always follow the best protocols. Thank you.
That's all we have for today's Spanish River. Good luck on your exams and make sure to study. These announcements only took seven tries. Remind here's a reminder to get to class on time. <laughs>